sih. Ya. Another cool little track is for you Yorkshire people. <laughs> Would you believe this is called Wakefield Road? It's not the A650 out of Bradford. It's not quite as wide. I would argue this one's a bit nicer. Hey everybody, Neil here. Welcome to Rider Guider. Um, an update. Okay, so I went to uh, Neville Lush Racing, Victor Harbour, south coast of South Australia. It's about an hour's maybe an hour and 15 minutes south of Adelaide. And uh, I went to see Neville. He's a highly regarded uh, engine tuner. He's got a dyno. He's got a lot of a lot of experience with the ECU flashing. And I had to make most of this. Um, I've got the exhaust cam from Scorpion, the Camel connector and the Akrapovic cam, sorry, Akrapovic header. And having spent what I did on the items, I needed to make sure I think that uh, I was getting the best out of it and to do that get it tuned so I had a few emails back and forth uh, it came recommended and I eventually spoke to him he was busy as which was a good thing it stood in me it gave me a bit of confidence knowing if he's busy it's because he's good uh, I eventually spoke to him on the phone and uh, a no bullshit guy straightforward liked what I heard booked it in 14th of Feb, I gave my bike some Valentine's Day love. I loaded it up on the trailer, took it down, left it with him for 24 hours. Got the bike back, and I have now got the graphs, and I'm going to show you how um, how he's improved it and some of the gains we've got. And it's interesting, and I'm going to use the graph and the information I've got to get the best out of the bike. And it's exciting. I'm quite pleased. Have a look at this. Well, okay, so this has been a bit interesting. A couple of points uh, I'll make first is that uh, it slipped my mind when I took the bike down. I forgot it had been better off on a more road-oriented tyre. I did have one. I've got a, a Tractionator GPS Motors, and I'm thinking of putting that back on, and I should have put it on before I took it down for the dyno. It would have been more suitable to put it on the road on the rolling road um so that was something it went down there on the slightly knobbly tire which is a bit knackered now anyway um and also uh what else funnel web filter i've got a funnel web filter in there with the pre-filter which good breathing so if we look at that red line now of course that's not a standard bike that's my bike with the um the, the exhaust system the akrapovich header and the connector pipe from Camel into the Scorpion cam. And my aim, my main aim, was to get the best out of that system since I'd spent so much on it. And as you can see, I didn't want, obviously didn't want it running lean. So looking at that brake horsepower and that red line pre-tune, it's quite impressive, no peaky bits. So check out that straight line. It's It proves the decap you know, and breathability, it kicks ass with that system, uh, even before we got to tuning it. So comparing that to the blue line, post the tune, it's a touch lower throughout, but very similar shape. And the brake horsepower blue line, a minor, but I suppose extra two and a half, 2.3 brake horsepower at peak increase, not really noticeable in the real world because that's only at like 9,000 revs per minute. Uh, so, and I'm quite happy with that, very happy. And it's not, of course, the 70 odd horsepower claimed, um, but the tyre might have affected that a little. But a lot of people are getting low 60s um, readouts on the dynos anyway, so I'm not out of the ballpark, I don't think, really. Um, and I'm very rarely giving it the full berries, so that's pretty cool. Um, none of us are, are we, really, unless we're racing. And Let's look at what interested me was the torque. Uh, again, not a massive increase at peak torque, 6,400 revs per minute. Now, Neville, who was the tuner, he was generally impressed with how the exhaust system worked pre-tune. 
However, the biggest gain or gains are in the talk from low 2000s in the reps per minute. And it's a very decent, like a 10 newton meter increase. Uh, that's immediately off the throttle straight away. And it's consistent level from there until around 7,000 revs, which is pretty much my go-to. I don't really spend much time above 7,000 and it's pumping along quite nicely at that. Anyway, uh, I'm going off road. I want that controllability. Um, so it's pretty good. That newton meter level from two and a half thousand reps per minute is pretty consistent. And it's livened it up a treat, which is exactly what I actually liked. So how does it ride? Well, I'll tell you, and I'll go, I'll go for a spin in a minute, I'll show you, but you need to for me to verbalise it really. It's very crisp. Uh, I'd like to find a different word for grunty. It's it's not grunty, it's a bit more agri less agricultural than that. And it's just lively as ook, really. Uh, I have always run 98 octane, and it feels like I'm now running octanes much higher than that. It just... If that exists, you know, it might be like 110 octane. It's just superb. It really is nice. Happy days. So, uh, what's next? Two more major projects. Proper tubeless wheel set. I'd love one of them. It's definitely on the cards. Suspension upgrade. A lot of people do that first. I haven't really needed to. I only weigh like 70 odd kilos, 72 kilos. So, it's been all right. I've not been booked out of the seat at all. It's just been okay but i think it is improvable even for somebody as light as me where it's aimed at really that suspension i'm not um 90 kilos where people are going to put stronger springs in but i could do with getting it done properly down the line when that's been done all in all my bike will be a absolute weapon all good so yeah thanks for watching i'll take you for a quick spin now and have a listen to this <laughs> Love it. All right, so let's go up a road and give you an idea from a standing start. I'll go through the gears, but what I won't do is go above 7,000 revs. I'm changing up at seven. That's under, I won't tell you how fast that was, but that gives you an idea of how it pulls. It's something you're tuning to, isn't it? The, the, your ears in relation to how much revs you're using and how the bike feels. And I don't feel that I'll need to go above 7,000 when I'm riding my bike especially when I'm off-roading it and I'm going to go let's touch on something else about some people talk about the snatchiness of the throttle and I've dismissed it I thought no there wasn't I'm quite happy with it I didn't understand that but I'll take it back now because the fact is I'm riding the T7 a standard bike wasn't I before I had the tune and I didn't actually know any different now I do, I get it, I understand what people are talking about because it's better, I've just been obviously adjusting my riding with the clutch to smoothen out the power delivery, when I'm, the power delivery, when I'm, when I'm riding and accelerating on and off the, the throttle, I have got no problem with to use the clutch now I'm finding that that's actually smoother a lot smoother so that's impressive I'm pleased with that what I'm going to do is go up Peel Road and show you one of my favourite little tracks in a minute it's to the left up here I'm not quite there there it is so this is from the bottom end it's only a couple of k's and that it's not that technical there's a bit of corrugation at the bottom and lots of this soft sand here, it's just get through that section and a bit of corrugation here, but further up it's, it's basically single 
car width further up, but it's just so picturesque up here. I just love it. Dodgy tree branch. So yeah, you've got to keep your wits about you through these sections. So it's not crazy fast. But it's so pretty. that controllability it's just so nice to be able to this is just third gear stuff I'm actually not going to clutch it I'm just going to try and do it off the throttle and just to experience that how it's smoothened it out stick with third how pretty is this place what a lovely track Your, your, your typical adventure riding track, isn't it, really, as opposed to enduro type, it's, it's lovely. Oh, yeah. And that's all clutch-free, so that gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. me and that's it to the top of this track just about wonderful